All right, so what's inside an Outdoor Master Shark? Uh, this one, I let a renter borrow it. It got dropped, something happened. I noticed a pretty big uh, uh, gash or a dent uh, right in here. So I know something's something's been abused and happened here uh, with my Outdoor Master Shark. Uh, so let's open it up and see what's inside. What I've already done is I've already taken out the screws, already taken out the screws that hold it together there in the back. Uh, I had to use different size screwdrivers for each one. Um, some of them were pretty narrow, some were a little wider, but let's open it up and I haven't opened it up yet to see uh, what is inside. Looks like that just pops out. You have the vent for the fan here, so I'm sure the fan is... Uh, or, oh yeah, it is. It's on, it's on that side. So what do we got? So we have motor here. It looks like this is the low pressure, high volume pump right here. This pump should be the low pressure one, but uh, the high pressure pump should be this guy here. Smaller volume, but higher pressure. Uh, this pumps the component for the lower pressure, high volume pump. I wanna say this is about, they use the liter, the metric system here, uh, 350 liters per minute and about 70 liters per minute of, of volume of air. It looks like this is all attached here to a small little motherboard there with the controls for, let's see, the power. Whoa, that comes right out. Oh, I wonder if, um, maybe this is why, maybe this got knocked off. Let's try putting this back together. Maybe this is what happened, maybe not that's all that needs to be done for it to be fixed awesome but that came out and that could have come out when I turned it over who knows but it looks like that green plate connects to this green plate over here I'm not an engineer I don't know what's what the green thing in the green thing okay so here's the power supply power supply into here red and white into here is that power supply okay yeah that's soldered in there goes back out to this motor here and then that must power uh, the other big motor back there pretty simple machine you have two main components high volume fan uh, high volume low pressure low volume high pressure um, that's all there and some very simple electronics that connect the two I don't know what this little tube does but uh, and then a fan that intakes and blows air um, to get the motor cooling. So I guess this warms up and then just the uh, the pressure or the fans probably on this piece where um, the air is pumped in here and at a high pressure, pressure creates heat and then uh, pushed out here. So this must be the part that gets hot. Not here, probably not here, mostly here. That's why the fan sits over it. All right, so I plugged in that piece. Let's see if if that was all that it takes for this to work okay now. All right, good enough just to see if it works. Okay. All right, we got a little 12 volt adapter here. Let's plug this in and see. See what happens. Hey, it looks like okay. Yeah, we're in business. It looks like as I took it apart, the from being just abused and thrown around um, by someone I rented the uh, some paddle boards to and a pump to, that the cord just got loosened. So I opened it up. Uh, tighten that core back in there and we look to be in business awesome because this is a great pump the outdoor master shark uh, has worked really well for me um recommend it um it may cost a little more than some of the other pumps uh that are similar to it but um it's built like a tank it's uh it's a good pump and now i know how to fix little uh, uh little problems that go along with it now you know what it looks like inside there it is Easy peasy. Awesome. That makes me happy.